And here's the field for the second Barry's Creek he limb. Number one is Wise Guy. He's owned by Jeff Eckberg, driven by Danielle Dubay. 1A, Armbro Viper, owned by Ed Mullinex with Jim Morrill Jr. Number two, He's All That, owned by Ken Abramowitz and Greg Peck with Ron Pierce. Number three is All American Can Do, owned by the Can Do Stables with Luke Wallette. Number four, Lynn and John Mondrix, David's Rainbow, Jack Moiseev. Number five is LCB, owned by Newman Racing, De Elegance, Samson Street, and Victor with Ross Wolfenden. Number six, Gun That Won the West, owned by Jeff Snyder and Robert Eunice with George Brennan. And number seven, Matt Damon, owned by Nick Barbieri, John Campbell is in the sulky. Number eight is Scratch due to sickness. So that's the field for the sixth race, Barry's Creek Elimination, Exacta Trifecta, start of the pick four, post time in seven minutes. It's post time for the sixth race, the second elimination for the Barry's Creek three-year-old pace. They're all lined up in behind the gate, approaching the start. They're off, and Armbro Viper gets the first call from the outside. All-American can do is there between horses. He's all that is on her right early, but he's still involved from the inside. David's Rainbow has come out racing in fourth. LCB is fifth. Toward the outside, racing in sixth is Wise Guy as they head around the first turn. Gun that won the West is two lengths further back, seventh. And Matt Damon will have to do it from last. And Moiseev is aggressive with David's Rainbow. He's between horses and caught out there three wide on the outside as the field heads on to the back stretch is Wise Guy. First quarter in 27 and 1, and they're three deep battling for the front. Wise Guy on the outside with the lead. David's Rainbow is now racing in second. Armbro Viper is back in third. Wise Guy used hard to make the top. Armbro Viper is up on the bit. Racing in fourth as they head toward the half is all American can do. He edges off the cones. Fifth toward the outside as he's all that picking up that cover. Gun that won the West is sixth on the inside. The half and 55 and 1. Third over is LCB, and Matt Damon is fourth over and last, hoping to get carried into it by the flow as they come around the far turn with little more than three-eighths to go, and it is Wise Guy who's still a length in front. Racing second in the pocket in search of some racing room is David's Rainbow. All-American can do on the outside. He's all that. Comes three wide. He swings off cover just two lengths from the lead. LCB follows him. Armbro Viper is trapped in. Now between horses and six. Following third over cover is Matt Damon still with five lengths to make up. Three quarters in 124 and two. He's all that has taken the lead with an eighth of a mile to come. Matt Damon is kicking on quickly on the outside. Gun that won the West on the far outside. He's all that leads it. Matt Damon, gun that won the West is flying on the outside. Gun that won the West guns him down to win it. Matt Damon second. He's all that third. 152 and two. Returning to the winner's circle, number six, Gun That Won the West. Three-year-old Gray Colt by Cam's Card Shark out of Kristen Barbara by Distant Thunder, on by Jeff Snyder and Bob Eunice of New York and New Jersey. The trainer is Brett Pelling and George Brennan is in the sulky. Gun That Won the West scores in 152 and two-fifths, a career-best effort for him, and the results are official for the second Barry's Creek elimination. Number six, Gun That Won the West, pays 1460, 540, 440. Finishing second was number seven, Matt Damon, 360, 280. And third, number two, He's All That, paying 320. The exact accommodation, six and seven, pays $60.20. The trifecta, 672, $240.60. At 9.51. Well, we're down in the winner's circle here back in 1996. George Brennan, the Berries Creek with hot lead. Uh, he won there. He's looking to do it again with Gun that won the West. George, uh, coming into this race, you had driven his horse three starts back there on the line, and the horse made a break. What happened there? He was coming home real good that day. He was probably going to pace a quarter in 26 and 4, 27 flat. And I uh, was letting him do it on his own, and in, 
he made a break. You know, he just can't. He wants to do it, but it, you know, then you know, he just showed where he couldn't handle the speed yet and didn't know how to carry it. So uh, you know, I had that in the back of my mind tonight. Coming into this race here, last week, uh, his first start back, uh, he raced pretty well in the last 16th. Coming into tonight, what was your feeling coming into the race? He only had six starts. Well, you, you know, I thought I thought he had a shot, you know, moving into uh, Brett's barn and everything. I knew Brett would have him ready. But, uh, you know, he told me going in, he says, be careful with him and, uh, you know, do what you can. And, it, you know, it worked out good. You know, he, it was a little funny in the first turn and going to the half, but uh, stayed out of traffic in the last turn and uh, maneuvered that pretty, pretty well. No, what, what kind of trip did you actually wind up with? somewhere up the rail and shook free in the last turn so uh, it worked out good he won okay george brennan good luck with gun the one the west the berries creek elimination